Okay, this is my second rescue, or attempt at a rescue out of fish. So I got word, I'm at another pet store, I'm getting ready to rescue another fish. And what I mean by rescue is that these are fish that are usually in pet stores that are hard to sell. Most people don't get them. They have a really, really crappy life and I wanna give them the best life. So I'm gonna rescue another fish. I'm part of this fish group called uh, Fish Tanks of Watcom, which is a local place out here, a local city. So about two or three weeks ago, I post up here in the corner where you guys can see where I got it from. This person says, hey, please go rescue this discus fish. This is a very beautiful fish. And um, I went here about a month ago. Um, I saw the post two weeks ago, so about a month ago. I did see it. And I said, man, this fish sucks. I saw it the other day. It's still there. And I say, you know what? It needs Ron Johnson to rescue it. So I'm going to put here where I saw the fish rescue. Thank the person in the community for sticking together to rescue those fish. So I'm going to go right now in your big box store and rescue that fish. Okay, I'm back. I saw the fish. Doesn't look too well. Um, look a little skinny. He's down at the very, very bottom. And I think I need to save him. I think I need to rescue him. So I'm going to go home, get a tank set up. So I always have a spare tank. And I'm going to rescue his fish. So I'll come back in a few days. Hopefully he's still there. And I'll rescue this fish. Stay tuned for more. Okay. I'm back a couple days later. I'm back to see and hope the rescue fish is there waiting for me. I, you guys can't see where I'm at, but I'm at the same place I was last time. Now I'm going to rescue that fish, bring him home into the fish room, and let's see how he thrives and survives, giving the right environment, the right food, nutrition, dense food for my fish and the monster fish room. Now, before I go on anymore, I want to always talk about some some related stress right when you're managing these types of fish or aquariums it'll add a stress to it where you just don't want to do it and that's okay so what that means is that when you're faced with things you don't want to do you don't have to do it you can say no you can always have a choice if you look at your life overall most people ask you to do something and most time you say yes they don't tell you what to do so what that means is that if someone asks you what to do, you have a choice to say yes or a choice to say no. However, is it self-imposed that if I say no, I'm going to feel really bad? What's really going on here? Also, define stress, what it means to you. Because in the fishing aquarium hobby I'm in right now, there's a lot of stress. And sometimes I have to work through my lunch break. Sometimes I have to work on the weekends. I'm always doing something because there's always something happening. And life is just transitory like that. So, running here, hopefully they're still there, or she or he's still there. Grab that fish, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got some good news and got some bad news. Good news is it went to a better home. So I waited a couple more days to, before I was able to come back. I've been busy with work and my other stuff, and it was gone. And I was like, oh man, I missed it. So the bad news is I didn't get it personally, but the good news is someone got it. And um, actually, a sense of relief. Um, I'm going out of town here to take us marins and I won't be able to take care of it. And having a fish in a tank that's new, new environment, I really always watch the fish. I go downstairs to my fish room, take a look, see what happens. Okay, how's the environment, test the water. It's a lot of work and just plop it in there and be like, okay, great, this fish is going to happen. So... I'm glad someone got the fish. It went to a great home I heard um, yesterday. So I just missed it by less than 24 hours. And uh, I'm staying tuned for my next rescue. There's always a pet store out there that needs my help. And I'll be there for that fish. So keep me stay tuned. Don't have to hit the comment, subscribe. More of these be coming to you and more mental health be coming to you. Boom.